hello friends welcome to my channel in this video i will explain you and demo you the installation of this dishwasher uh, this dishwasher is from company mydia and the installation process is going to be more or less same for all the brands whether it is bosch or ifb the dishwasher installation will be more or less same let me show you the dishwasher so this is the company mydia and it's a 13 plus setting dishwasher this uh, product is available on Flipkart. I will put the link of this product in the description. You can explore. So let's start with the installation process. So let me first show you where I'm going to install. So this is the place which I have chosen. Uh, this is our living room and uh, this place is adjacent to the kitchen. So this is the kitchen area. Okay. And uh, you can see here there is no facility. There is no drain line. There is no inlet water. There is no power supply. Okay. So I'm going to arrange all of that. So I'll demo you that. So with that you will get idea if any of those things is not available for you also where you want to install how you can arrange those uh, so about the installation the very first thing is the power supply uh, these dishwasher require power in the range of 2000 watt so that is little over 10 amperes uh, so these dishwashers cannot run on a normal socket the normal socket supports only up to 6 amperes the power socket support up to 16 ampere okay so these require power socket if we run on a normal socket then the wires will burn okay so that is very first thing that we require a power socket and in our home we should have a proper earthing especially on a point where we are going to install this dishwasher we should have a proper earthing and when the dishwasher is running there should not be any current on a body we can test with the tester and about my installation here you can see there is no power socket okay so how i'm going to arrange it uh, for that I have bought this extension this extension supports 16 ampere and it has a 4 meter wire I bought this from Amazon I will put the link of this product in the description and also I will try to put the link of all the accessories which I'm going to use okay and all these accessories are also available in the local shop so how I'm going to do is uh, see outside I was having a spare power point okay so what I have done is I have drilled a hole here so this hole is running through the wall so I will just uh, run that wire through this wall and I will use that outside spare socket for this dishwasher and also you can see there is a button also in the extension so there is no need to operate from the outside uh, the outside will be always on and we can operate it from the inside only uh, so the second thing is the inlet water for inlet water also there is no arrangement here so what I have done is outside there was a running pipe from there only I am going to take the extension for that also I have drilled this hole let me show you Uh, now the third thing is the drain line so you can see there is no drain line here but uh, fortunately this place is adjacent to the kitchen uh, so beneath the sink obviously we have a drain line so you can see this hole I'm going to use this hole for the drain line I will show you the connection a little later okay uh, so for the drain line I was having two choices one is the kitchen area and other is the outside outside also I was having on drain line that also I could have used okay so I was having two choices I chose this one which is the nearest one let me show you this uh, hole Uh, so overall there are three holes one is for the inlet water one is for the power point and one is for the drain line so the big question is how I made these holes so let me show you the answer so here is the answer uh, I use this hammer drill and this big drill bit this is 20 mm drill bit with a length of about 15 inches 2-3 inches will go inside the drill bit and still it has about 11 inches length and the walls which I drilled they are about 10 inches so I was easily able to run it through the wall okay so to make a bigger hole first you have to make a straight hole then rotate it from both the sides okay so the next thing is the inlet water so this is the pipe which came with the dishwasher and if you look at the end both ends both are having the female threads the inward threads uh, so this point goes into the dishwasher and uh, this has to be connected to the inlet water supply and this is 3 4 inch in the size and the normal points that we have in our house they are not actually 3 4 they are usually half inch or 1 inch let me show you one point uh, so if you look at this water point this is actually half inch i can remove this dummy and use this water point but this is half inch okay and all these steps are actually half inch but in case of dishwasher we need 3 4 inch male thread 
point okay so for that you need this adapter uh, this adapter is easily available in the local shop uh, this is 3 4 inch male type coupling so one side is a normal coupling and the other side is the male threads so this point will go into this pipe like this So this is how it looks from the outside. From here we have taken one extension. There is a wall and this goes inside. Uh, this is completely 3 4 pipe and the connectors. Okay, And uh, the wall is very important whenever you want to do the maintenance or you want to clean the pipe of the dishwasher. So you should be able to close the water supply. So this will be your water point and uh, this end of this uh, dishwasher pipe will go here okay these are male threads and this is female thread 3 4 3 4 okay so this is compatible and it has a rubber washer so there will not be any water leaks and plus you can see there is a filter also so it is recommended to use a pipe which is given by the company so the last thing is about the drain line so i will not demo it because that's going to increase the length of the video uh, i will do it myself and then i'll show you the final finishing one hint one hint i want to give you is uh, this is actually a dummy to close any electric point this can be used as a jali uh, it is very easy to make the holes in this uh, plastic jali if you are having a soldering iron with the help of that soldering iron you can reduce the size of this disc and you can create as many holes as you want of any size so this is the existing setup this is the sink drainage and already there is a cpvc pipe running i have created a separate video for this and if you want to check out that video how i replace a normal drainage pipe with the cpvc i will put the link of that video in the description you can explore so with the existing pipe only i am going to connect the drainage pipe for the dishwasher so you can see the drain pipe there is a cpvc pipe and uh, this drain pipe is connected to that cpvc pipe see the drain pipe of this uh, dishwasher is 3 4th so you have to use a 3 4th pipe and here you can see uh, this new line the drain line of the dishwasher i have connected to the existing drain line and uh, you see this dishwasher the drain line is at the bottom extreme bottom so it is better to use a stand i am using this uh, stand which is very sturdy it's a metal stand and it is able to raise the height by about 7 to 8 inches it is very important so that the water the drain water flows into the drain line it doesn't get stuck in the pipe i'll put the link of this stand also in the description you can explore and if you want a separate video where you want a review of this product uh, the mydia torino model 13 place dishwasher then uh, do let me know in the comment section and uh, if you want a separate video on the maintenance like how to maintain it like the spray arms and the inner body and the outer body how do you maintain and the pipes how do you maintain then if you want that video do let me know in the comment section i will try to make a separate video on that also once you are satisfied and uh, once you are sure that there is no leakage then uh, you can fill these holes with the white cement and pack it but for the inlet point let me give you one more idea uh, let's say if you have a water point like this then uh, you can use the 3 4th elbow this elbow with uh, one side female thread so remove this dummy and uh, fix this on this uh, point okay and here you have to fix the same coupling like 3 4 coupling with uh, one side male thread okay and if you want you can take the extension also if your dishwasher is far from the water point 
then you can use the additional pipe to take the extension okay and uh, similarly if even you can take the extension from the taps also so in the tap you have to install that uh, t type nipple 